This is going to be our first game since three weeks and it's gonna be a 2v2 match on the map backland in the online battle arena for 2.22 and the matchup is going to be also a great one. We are Mordor, our ally is Rohan, we are against Isengard and Gondor. So all, all four factions are actually included in this one, that's pretty good, I like it. Even though I need to say that this map is not the greatest map for the evil faction because the distance between the castles is kind of short. But we can make it work, okay? Hey, man. Alrighty. So, offense is the best defense. So, and, and I will just put pressure with my orcs. And if you want to destroy my lumber mill, go ahead and do it. We have lots of creeps on this map. And also, the outpost in the middle. Which is like the heart in the, the center of the map backland. I think it's the newest one, the newest 2v2 map in the battle arena. And hopefully in the near future, we will also add more to the game. I believe I forgot to make orcs, so. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's put pressure on the lumber mill. I think that's good. If you can take it down, it's beautiful. My ally is kind of struggling against the Uruks. And this opponent knows what he's doing. He has like all the workers sitting there waiting for the repair action. <laughs> so I don't think we can destroy this. And Uruks are defending like this. I will try to kill some of the workers. I think that's going to be the best thing I can do in this situation. Because I can't fight against Uruks if I not surround them. But it will take me too, too much time to walk all the way around. And on the other side, I will, you know, lose one of my settlements. That's not the greatest thing ever. But, you know, maybe. My golem is killing workers, so that's good. Need a tower. Dude, I I'm forgetting to make orcs all the time, by the way. I'm playing so bad this game. And I wasn't able to destroy the lumber mill either. I will lose my own lumber mill. And I have only one slaughterhouse in my base. But I have one lumber mill untouched. It's good. If he doesn't destroy it anytime soon, I should be maybe finding a way to get back into the game. And in exchange, we will also take down his farm, so that's gonna be good. He will at least be a bit more poor too, you know. So he doesn't know the tower, he's running it down, and it's gonna be a 2v2 situation. Remember, he went for the Elvin Wood, it means he has no heal for the, for the soldiers. We killed all the workers, it's good. Let's place him in the castle. I'm cash floating, I'm playing so bad. I mean, I can't detect the soldier, man. Need to move. Put him there, right there. I need to move again. I mean, nowadays, especially in this patch 2.2, I really like the double orc pit boys. Double orc pit, I think in every situation, in every matchup really, even against good factions, even on map like Anorian, I think it's pretty good because it gives you like the presence on the map. Usually Mordor will have the tiny bit of an early advantage with the orcs which are for free. But the second opponent gets anything that can trample them, the orcs will be completely useful, useless. And now with double orc pit they will still be useless but you can be much more annoying, you know what I mean? You can pressure them and remember from losing orcs you also gain power points in this game. I think double orc pit is the way to go in every single uh, mode. May it be a 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, maybe not in 3v3 or 4v4, but in free for all definitely, when you play a free for all match, on like Mirkput for example, 4 player, I think double orc pit is the way to go. Killed our Smeagol, but it is what it is, we can creep this now with the orc warriors, no problemo. And this is the best way to creep, you don't need to move, you just basically stand there, you know, and take it like a man. There can't be a victory without a sacrifice, let's reveal the Hobbit and move the Eye of Sauron. Pippin has to be revealed, otherwise we couldn't be able to reclaim the settlement. Towering up. Get the money. And save the level 2, with level 3 orc. Very important to save him. Now what we can do is we can even... Like creep the trolley in the middle. Like Loki, I will show you how to do this. Let's bring the Vorks to the Gondor Knights. 
And I want to go for the Troll Cage in this game. Troll Cage is the way to go. Okay, so here, pretty much the same situation. We will use one of the Oryx as a bait for the troll, and then we will creep him with the other ones. With a level 3 Oryx, that means the troll layer should be going down very fast. And here what you can do is you can use hold ground stance, and he will stay there at the max distance. He will not go back, he will not chase you. You just stay there, and then you take the creep for free, okay? That's how you creep trolls in 2024. <laughs> All right, and we put pressure on him, Gondor. He's pretty much checked. He can't really leave his own side. That's the pressure of the Oryx. Now, enough pressuring the Gondor. It's about pressuring now the Aizen, okay? Beautiful. So, what I want to do also is I want to actually find a way to take the outpost in the middle. I think that's the, that's the way we want to play this because um, I want to build more Orc pits there, you know, in the middle. To just perma pressure my opponent. Oh my god, this Berserk is so strong actually. Killing my level 3 Orc right there. I didn't expect that one to be honest with you. I was expecting my level 3 Orc would smash him. But only a few of them are remaining. So let's try to... Uh, it was not intended, but let's try to lure the troll away from the lair, uh, from the middle. Ah, he doesn't come back. I will take the outpost then. Okay, let's take the outpost. That's good. Okay, beautiful. I like the outpost control or camp control when you play with Mordor in team games. I think that's essential because the way the players are always playing is... The middle camp is always going to be like a magnet. Everybody's attention is being drawn by the middle <laughs> outpost. And they've always the desire to fight around the outpost, which makes me feel like safe in my own castle. My castle will be safe. Oh my god, what a fine hit with the troll. <laughs> More orcs. I need to bring my trolls eventually to this location. This Berserker is super annoying. Go trolls, go, go, go. Kill those pikemen. Put pressure on the Gondor. So he will keep losing those arms or he will... Oh, oh, beautiful rushing coming with lots of units. The beast is not looking very healthy from Aizen. He doesn't even have the armor yet. I think we hurt him big time. He was forced to spam lots of Berserkers. Which is the main reason why he's that broke. And multitasking is very important. While this is happening, we need to take the map. Because they are basically paying attention to the castle of Isengard, right? Oh, be careful. Let's go back a little bit. Now, very soon, we will also be able to siege Gondor. So, I need one more troll for the troll cage to hit level 2. And I'll be good to Gucci. I'll be good to go. Okay, so what I like to do here is we can throw rocks on the on the wall, you know? That's something we can do. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Put pressure with the orcs. That's the beautiful part about Mordor. Because usually in this game it's very important to keep your units alive and protected. And the only exception to this rule is Mordor. You basically don't pay anything to the orcs, so you don't really need to pay too much attention. It doesn't mean that you don't pay attention at all, but it's your attention won't be trying to save your orcs it's about getting the maximum out of their damage and be as much as much annoying as you potentially can be but your goal will never be oh it's a level one orc let me try to save him you know orcs if they die it's whatever let's go for the damage testing okay let's go for the damage testing i want to try it with and without the drama troll so we basically now put on the rocks and throw the rocks and see the damage of the four trolls with the rocks in their hands against the wall. 
Bam, bam, bam. Dude, it's pretty decent. What? 40% damage they, uh, they alt? Who needs these weapons, by the way, in 2024? If you can do this with the trolls. Who needs it? Nobody needs it. Pretty decent damage. And now we do this again. But this time with the drama troll. <laughs> and then we go ham inside the jeans. Now it basically should 100% destroy it, right? Let me take a look. Bam, 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 bam. Yup, 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 yup. Go, 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 go. Look who is here. It's Johnny. Uh, look, this is this is why Mordor is so strong, you know? Like, these units are the reason for this. The trolls are just uh, built different. They are like all in one, you know? They have like all you need. And more. They can siege, they can smash, they can have uh, they can crush heroes, they can crush armies if they are trees, they can do whatever they want. They, they are basically like catapults hitting like a truck. I'm gonna use uh, this also on my ally. There we go. In Gondor. Where was, Go where was Rohan? When Gondor fell. Okay, he left the game before the game was over, that means his money and his command points and units will be transferred to his ally. So his ally now has double the command points and if you don't know, in a 1v2 situation, if you play a 2v2 and your ally gets defeated and leaves the game before he gets fully destroyed, what will happen is you will get his command points, his army, but there is a secret what you also will get, you will get power points way faster. Oh, 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 okay. It looks like meat back on the menu, boys. Let's eat those delicious oryx, shall we? Eat them. Yummy, yummy. Come on, come here. Get ready for fighting. Now all my attention goes to the Isengard. Beautiful. Now we can go ham. They are still missing a bit of a bit amount of power points for the. Uh, see it. For the darkness. Okay. So let's go. I mean, I'm still poor. I would like to buy the other castle. I might be doing this once I have money for it. But I was spending way too much money now into Witch King and my trolls. I'll be careful. I don't want to lose the Witch King. They have 5 power points in the bank, that's good. We have good map control, that's even better. And if this Saruman doesn't move... Ah, uh, he was moving. I'm pretty sure that these 3 trolls, if they have rocks in their hands, and Witch King drama, tr drama troll leadership, they can actually one-shot this Saruman from 100 to 0. I'm pretty sure about that one. I mean, my Witch King's leadership also applies to the Rohirrims from my ally, so they give them even more strength. And they can destroy the structures even way, way faster, you know? Let's throw on the Uruk Pit. Bam bam. And not bad at all. I mean, the damage. When we considered. Oh my god, he stole a lot of them actually. Holy. And they are out of my drama troll. Can I kill this guy somehow? No, he has the blast. Oh my god. Oof, the Saruman. Took so many Rohirrim from my ally. Mm. One more kill time, boys. One more kill time. I'm gonna try to. How much health he has left? Uh, he's still quite healthy. I can't finish him. Okay, abort the mission. Let's go back. Let's go back, 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 back. Let's buy this beast too. We will go for the siege wards in the base in the castle. So we have every unit. We have Muma kills, trolls, drama trolls, Nazgul's, witch king, and also catapults. Oryx in the meantime taking over the game. That's good. Now we need to fill up the beast with the blacksmiths. <clears throat> because black furnaces, I mean. The furnaces will um, give us the steel bonus, making our siege weapons, in this case the catapults, cheaper. We have also the darkness, that's good. Hold on, I need to cancel the ones in the front. I want to build in the front the siege works. And build in the back the furnaces, okay? 
Let's throw rocks. Let's go play Tom and Jerry. Watch this. Tower. Now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> and we can do this again. It's all about patience. It's all about friendship. I want to go for the Muma first. Give me the Muma. Give me the Muma. Kill, 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 kill. Okay. Let's go for another rock throw. It's my ally. Make him rich. Bam bam. Nice. Again, go back and repeat. Siege forks. We need double of them just to outspam our opponent. That's the plan. Ally has lots of Rohirrim. They are shining bright like a diamond. Look, they are glowing, you know. Aragorn, Theodin leadership, Witch King leadership, leads around darkness leadership, all of that is so strong. For the double siege, give them numbers four and five. Boom, boom, boom. Put set points. Boom, boom, boom. And then we will spamming them. Like, bam, bam. You know, plan T. Plan, or plan C. As for catapult. C, catapult. And again. Rock, throw, rock, throw, rock, throw. Mumma kill. One more mumma kill. Be quiet. Let's go for the catapults. Boom, boom. Oh, he demolished this time. No, no, no. Okay. I'm ready, boy. I'm ready whenever you are. I mean, he has not many many army, uh, many units on the field. He has like three Rokirim. That I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be enough. But I'm ready when you are. I'm ready anyway. I wanna buy the banner on them, actually, boys. Let's buy banner and give them all the black orcs. Okay. Oh, he's going ham. Let's use darkness and I boom boom. Oh, he used rain. Okay. Uh, rip. In this case, no leadership for us, huh? What a fireball from Saruman. I mean, he has no more Uruk up on the field. So he can't really produce any more pikemen. He can just sit in the base and just chill there. <laughs> there is not really a lot he can do. All of them banner. We are Bill Gates in this game. We are so rich. Boomer kill. I mean, I'm camp command points kept, but it's about to be changed. I'm running it down with the orcs now. All orcs go to war. I mean, unfortunately, he has uh, rain. If he doesn't have the rain, my orcs won't die there. You know, my orcs have Dramatrol leadership. I mean, not Dramatrol. Witch King, Darkness, and Theorin leadership. They are not going to die there. Trust me, my Oryx will actually slaughter everything. They have even Aragorn leadership. My ally is also Gimli. <laughs> I mean, my, my start into this game was kind of horrible. I played it so bad because I even forgot to recruit Oryx at the beginning of the game. And let's be real, there is not too much There is not too much you need to be reminded of. And when you play Mordor, you have only one structure you really produce units from. You can kill this guy, by the way. Die now, you fool. No wizard can kill me. Ooh, I, I was kidding, I was kidding. Go, get away, get away. Lords, 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 lords. I said no wizard, but Uruks apparently can. I mean, it's the most iconic moment ever, right? It's the servant. Revenging his master. I want to trample him so bad because I clicked the charge attack. I can't now attack. You see that? I can't attack the <laughs> structure. That's the problem because I press C for the charge. Look, because I press C. Uh, you see? <laughs> I can't right click on the structure. Now he's gonna still charge at him. Oh, look, he's charging, he's charging. Now I can. You see, now I can again. Lourdes, gonna die to Theodine. Shall we not make peace, you and I? And GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. You know, a 2v2 game. After three weeks, not the best performance from me. I need to be admitting this one. But hopefully I will be playing more games. And you can also join us. Uh, this weekend, I will, I'm will. i planning to stream. And we can play maybe 3v3, 4v4 together. See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always... Stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.